polarography is one of the most important technique which can be used for analyzing the concentration of the ions present in the solution not only the single ion but simultaneously we can do the analysis it has a variety of the applications in the field of the pharmaceutical industry medicinal industry agricultural industry now this technique was discovered by the jaroslo it is an electrochemical electromechanical technique of analyzing solution that measures the current between two electrodes in the solution as well as the gradually increasing the applied voltage to determine respectively in the concentration of the solute and its nature now in this topic we have to we must know the voltammetric methods principle of the polarographic analysis dropping mercury electrode instrumentation and working of the polarographic apparatus ilkoic equation for determination of the quantitative analysis polarogram for the chemical analysis analyze analysis of the mixture of the cations and some factors affecting that can be care for at the time of analysis now in case of the voltammetric methods is a method of analysis analysis based on the instrument of current electrolysis of electroactive species at the given electrode potential under the control condition now in this electrode we use the dropping mercury electrode and which is a must important the voltammetric analysis is having the different uh, methods to analyze with the different types like cyclic cyclic voltammetry anodic stripping voltammetry cathodic stripping voltammetry adsorption stripping voltammetry alternating current voltammetry polarogram and rotated electrode potential voltammetry now in the, in the uh, this apparatus the dropping mercury electrode is the most important electrode and this dropping mercury electrode is a act as a working electrode made up of the mercury this type of electrodes are used to electrochemical studies using three electrode system when investigating reaction mechanism related to the redox chemistry among other uh, chemical phenomena now in this electrode what happened this is a dropping reservoir mercury reservoir and through this uh, mercury reservoir mercury is coming down through the very fine capillary uh, which give, creates the drop and this drop act as a cathode now mercury act as a cathode why mercury is used not uh, the metal any another metal because mercury has a display a wide uh, negative potential its surface is newly uh, generated many metals can be uh, reversible redu uh, reduced into it and therefore mercury is used in the mercury as a, act as a cathode now in this apparatus what happened this apparatus uh, and the uh, beaker and in this beaker we have to take the solution and through this solution the whatever the oxygen dissolved oxygen is there this can be removed by continuously passing through the nitrogen bubbling and it can be removed the oxygen can be removed and drop continuously drop down and transport to the pool now this drop act as a negative electrode connected to the battery and with this and the positive electrode is connected to this mercury pool and through this we have to measure the current as supply the voltage now when the drop grows the immediately what happen whatever the ions are present these ions are get attracted towards the drop uh, negative charge drop and we observed that there is flow of current is observed in the uh, circuit and this current is measured as the application of the voltage and it is observed that as the new drop is formed then current is gone increases and when drop is come immediately detach immediately the current is decreases again newly drop second drop is for uh, coming down or grow immediately what happen the current is increases and again it drops immediately the uh, current is also uh, decreases now in this way the graph nature is like this as drop coming newly drop is generated the current is flowing uh, drop draw uh, uh, detach from the capillary and immediately the uh, it gives the zero voltage zero current now in this type uh, the graph nature is like this as we go on continuing this type the uh, analysis then we observe that this is the some what uh, slowly increase and then again increase is observed and then again again constant now this graph is classified in terms of the residual current uh, then diffusion current and then limiting current now residual current now residual current uh, that flows in the absence of the depolarizer due to the supporting electrolyte is called as residual current now this has to be taken into the consideration while interpreting the polarogram it is a current due to the migration of the ions caused by the electrostatic field 
electrostatic field uh, between the two, elect two electrodes and this is also a paradigm current due to the trace impurities present in the solution and after that when the voltage is increases then we observe that there is an increase in the uh, current this is because of the dip, uh, this is due to the actual diffusion of the electro reducible ion from the solution to the surface of the mercury droplet that is the concentration gradient and after that the limiting current is observed now it is due to the increasing the potential beyond the certain potential here the rate of diffusion of the ion is equal to the rate of reduction of uh, uh, electrode and therefore we observe that residual current diffusion current and limiting current we are interested in the diffusion current now in diffusion current uh, measurement then we are using this type of new apparatus and uh, then we observe that the half wave potential from the graph we can plot the graph and after that we are measuring the diffusion current half of that diffusion current then we are calculating the half wave potential now from this potential we can uh, analyze the given compound now in the chemical analysis the polarogram is the graph of current versus potential uh, in the polarographic analysis the po position of the polarographic wave in the polarogram along with the x-axis and along with the y-axis the uh, current is there now this is the polarogram can be find out now what happen when we are analyzing suppose uh, one or two or three or uh, four elements are there in the solution then we observe that initially what happened the, when we start the uh, apparatus then we observe that the one graph is observed and uh, this is for one uh, element now one ion is completed then second ion starts the this is the uh, residual current this is i uh, diffusion current and this is limiting current but when it contain the second uh, ion then it is observed that the uh, limiting current limiting current of the first ion is a residual current for the you know, second ion and then again we observe the diffusion current and this is the li limited current limitation current now limiting current this is the residual current for the third ion now in this way there are number of uh, fluctuation in the uh, graph is observed now this uh, id for the first element this id for the second element and from this voltage we can identify the quantitative as well as qualitative analysis how many ions are there and what is its concentration now, uh, in this case also, uh, uh, an increase in the current above than the limiting current, then small maxima is also notified sometime. What happened uh, when we observe this graph, then there is some maxima is observed. This is the uh, uh, maxima. This is not included into the analysis. But this is uh, observed that uh, an increase in the current above than the limiting current then small maxima is notified it may be due to the catalytic discharge of the ions to, or increase in the transport of the depolarizer towards the electrode it affect the determinants of the half wave potential because half wave potential we observe that they, this this start the limiting current and up to this level what happened we are uh, transient uh, id is there but when maxima is observed it is difficult to calculate the id now for this purpose in the solution we have uh, to eliminate we can add some uh, dye like methyl red indicator or gelatin or surfactant now it has a certain limit now up to that the maxima can be uh, reduced with the and then we are uh, removing from this uh, uh, graph the alkoic equation is most important id is equal to 607 and d raised to half m raised to 2 by 3 t raised to uh, 1 by 6 into concentration now here id is the diffusion current d is the diffusion coefficient of the depolarizer in the uh, medium uh, n is the number of electron exchange in the electrode reaction m is the mass of uh, flow rate mass flow rate of the mercury through the capillary that is how much gram of mass milligram uh, mass of the mercury drop per second and t is the drop lifetime how many drop uh, per second how many drops are uh, false and c is the concentration of the solution now from this equation if you uh, measure uh, uh, id then from the n d m t and c we can calculate any one of them from the with the help of this equation this is a very uh, important equation for the calculation of any uh, variable now uh, the in this polarographic apparatus some uh, factors are there for first is the oxidation state of the element then quantity of the suppressor then uh, temperature electrical current then uh, measurement error like drop time drop size because it's very it is very difficult to adjust the drop time and drop size from the capillary and concentration viscosity is also most important now these are the factors which can be uh, maintained and then we can uh, easily use this to determine the 
concentration, particularly concentration of the ion. Now, it has a, uh, so many applications, uh, advantages and disadvantages. Qualitative and quantitative analysis, simultaneously estimation is possible with the help of this uh, technique. Organic and inorganic sample can be analyzed. Just we require the ion in the ionic form and the results are reproducible. These are the advantages than the other technique. It has some disadvantages also. Mercury electrode is not very useful for oxidation because uh, to maintain the mercury drop time, drop size, it is also uh, difficult. Uh, then it can be used for over the plus uh, 0.4 volt. Uh, difficult to maintain.